Welcome to the broadcast and live stream of Moonshot Radio. Moonshot Radio is generously sponsored by the PNC Grow Up Great Program. And here's your host, Dr. Nivia Torres. Greetings and welcome to Moonshot Radio. This is a special broadcast of our show. We're live streaming from a remote location, so we ask that you, our special audience, um, understand that there will be a delay in video, but we're very excited to be, be able to bring this show to you today. I'm your host, Nivia Torres, Executive Director of the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, also known as KRC. Our vision is that all children in Indian River County will be ready for kindergarten. And during these very special circumstances that our county and our nation um, is experiencing, we wanna make sure that our students, our children are still actively engaged in learning. And joining me today is Nikki Boswell. She is our early literacy specialist and she is located in Gifford, Indian River County. Welcome, Nikki. Hello. Nikki, I'm so glad that you took the time to join us today. And like everyone, we are practicing social distancing. We're making sure that we wash our hands and that we're taking all necessary steps to keep safe. So we are modeling that today for our families. So thank you, Nikki, for joining us. You're welcome. Nikki, could you share a little bit with our viewers and those who watch the show regularly know you, you're a familiar face now, but let's share with our viewers a little bit about your position and what you do there in Gifford for our families. Um, good morning again. I am the early literacy specialist in the Gifford area and I play a lot of roles with the families that's part of KRC. I first of all create uh, a relationship. Once I create a, create a relationship, I um, begin to bond with the family as far as you know being their advocate on some resource that's in the community. Um, the best part that I like is just really interacting with the kids, um, knowing their levels of academics, getting them ready for kindergarten. And I'm that middle person. I'm just a support to the parents of KRC. Nikki, and we really thank you for the phenomenal work that you're doing in Gifford. You mentioned a very important word. You talked about relationships, and that's really at the core of what you do. You take the time to develop relationships with families, really engage with them and talk with them about their needs for their children. Share with me a little bit about how those relationships might have changed or might look differently in light of the circumstances that we're all experiencing. Well, I think um, at this time, the relationship is easier to build. Um, I know a lot of times you look at situations, we push people away, but I've experienced that this time it's more of, yes, you're welcome. Come in, what do you have to help me so my kids you know, continue to learn and stay on that level as far as in school that they're not missing a beat. So to me, at this moment, it's really opened the doors for me to come in and really be a part of the families of KRC. Not just KRC, families that we're looking for in the future to be a part of KRC. It's not like, you know, we as people pushing people away, we want to get through this together. And it shows as far as just the doors open, the family having that open mind of whatever that KRC has to bring to them and their family. Nikki, you're really, what you're really highlighting is really the need for all of us to see this as an opportunity. It's definitely a unique opportunity, and you are doing that and continuing to engage with the families. What are some of the needs that you see families are experiencing during this crisis that our county and certainly the nation is going through? 
Um, I don't want to use the word as far as need. I think it's just a reinforcement of mm. keeping a schedule, knowing that this is this is our day. If day has to go on, let's just make it work to the changes that has been made, you know, for all of us. And as a parent myself, going to other parents, just getting that concrete scheduling. That's their routine. Get up just like you have to go to work every day, you know, send the kids off to school. If you're home, you're making sure that dinner's being prepared for your child to get home in the afternoon, but just adjusting it in a way that Guess what? We're all getting up to go to work. We're all preparing dinner for us this afternoon. We're all working. And so just an adjusting to the different situations that we're having now. Um, again, I don't want to use the word as far as need. It's just to reinforce the routine that they do every day and making it work. Nikki, I love, love that um, positive twist. It's it's not a need, but it's a reinforcement. And it's a reminder for people that even though you might be staying at home and you might be at this time engaging in, you know, instructional learning at home through laptops and computers with your little ones, and you might be adjusting your schedule somewhat, you need to reinforce that routine, so you get up in the morning and you're getting dressed. You're, you might be working from home. That doesn't mean that you're going to be in PJs all day, right? You're certainly gonna yes. be very productive. We want that for the families and you want that for the children as well. Yes, yes, that's just the most important part because even though there's a gap into what they're usually doing, we don't want them to get off track. And I've noticed summer times I'm usually off. So, you know, you lay around and then it's time for you to get back on that routine. It's like, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I can't, I'm tired, I'm overwhelmed because I'm used to mm -hmm. another way. But if we continue to do it daily, when things come back on track, we have not skipped a beat. We actually gain more motivation more inspirement to really go on and give our best because we have not delayed what we used to do every day. Well, Nikki, you're certainly an inspiration to all of us and we will make sure that we stick to a routine, reinforce that. I know that you're doing that with children and the families that you so closely work with. Nikki, I know that you've really taken it upon yourself to develop a learning kit that you're distributing to the families. Talk to us a little bit about that initiative. Yes, um, as you all know, I've been a pre-K teacher for 21 years and I love to teach. I love to have fun, you know, why, while I'm teaching the kids. And when it came to my, you know, my point, it's like, okay, there's not gonna be in school. Let me give something to the parents because I have had parents come into this classroom and be like, I don't see how you do it, you know, I can just barely, you know, keep one under control. So I want to give something to parents that as they home, let's make it even easier to keep that mindset. And you have to be honest, the mindset of, okay, now I have my child home all day. And I'm here all day. And it's like, we can't go anywhere. So I took it upon myself. It's like, okay, let me do something that's not as messy. It could be time consuming. And it could be fun. And in the kit, I know sometimes I went to one parent. And I was like, okay, I'm going to give you this. Let her trace, you know, her alphabets. And she was like, oh, you don't think it's too hard. I'm like, no. The first time... You know, it's, it may look difficult to a parent, but we have to give our child more credit than we do. Um, again, mm -hmm. because if you're looking at four-year-olds, you know, they're holding the marker, they're holding the pencil or whatever they have to have in their head. That's five motor skills. But if you give a child, a small child, even if it's scribbling, it's increasing their five motor skills. 
So that's just helping them get to that place of actually tracing. Again, the more you do it, the better you get. So parents, we can't look at it as far as like, oh, this is too much. No, it's not too much. It's just, hey, if it takes them 20 minutes, just scribbling. It's okay. This same material, though, you can get while you're laying in the bed because it's alphabet. So you can go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So they're seeing it visually, the letters. Some kids, you know, I work with some parents that have one-year-old. They don't even know what you're saying, what you're doing, but they're actually learning because you're doing it all the time. So when they're able to respond, they have seen it so much. Oh, that's A, that's C, that's D. So the kids are geared for all ages. Um, some of the kids have different materials in it. And I just want to share some of them, the materials. So before I get... Nikki, I want you to walk us through all of the materials in the kit. We're going to take a break to hear from our sponsors, and we will be right back with Nikki, and we'll look very closely at their learning kit. At the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, our vision is for every parent, regardless of income or zip code, to have the knowledge and tools they need to raise healthy children that are prepared for kindergarten. Our mission is to support our partners in developing a high-quality early childhood system that is family-centered. Our outreach and parent engagement specialists connect with families and build trusted relationships. KRC has chosen Felsmere and Gifford as our two focus areas in Indian River County. Our Felsmere office is located downtown in the city annex, and our new Gifford office is located within Victory Park Apartments. Our administrative offices are now located adjacent to Healthy Start and Treasure Coast Community Health in Vero Beach. The Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, developing a high-quality early childhood system for all children in Indian River County. Everyday activities are great for finding moments for talking and teaching new words. Babies' brains grow 80% in the first 18 months of life. As parents and your baby's first teacher, you can help build their brain with language and literacy skills. Involve the whole family. Ask questions. The more words babies hear, the larger their vocabulary can grow. Support early childhood education by talking, reading, singing, and family engagement. This message has been brought to you by PNC Grow Up Great and the Florida Grade Level Reading Campaign. American Icon Brewery is open for takeout and delivery. Enjoy our award-winning beers, burgers, pizza, wings, and more for you to enjoy at home. You've got enough to deal with. Leave the cooking to us. We'll honor our first responders and active military with a 50% discount off food. We're open every day, noon to 8 p.m. You can easily order online or call us, 772-934-4266. That's 934-4266. For keeping your house pest and termite free, as well as your landscape healthy and green, call Compass Pest Control. Hi, this is Brian Combs, co-owner of Compass Pest Control. We are locally owned and operated with over 60 years of experience. We provide personalized, reliable service to all our clients. Call Compass at 772-925-1740 or visit our website, compasspest.com. That's compasspest.com. During times of uncertainty, people have always come together to support one another. COVID-19 is the new test of our collective strength. As we all adjust to the new normal, we're facing new and unprecedented economic challenges. United Way is mobilizing to provide accurate information and vital services and support for those struggling to get by during this uncertain time. To support this rapidly escalating need, the United Way of Indian River County and a coalition of philanthropic partners have joined together to create the COVID-19 Community Response Fund, which is working to deploy flexible resources to local 
local organizations to support those in our community who are disproportionately impacted by the novel coronavirus and the economic consequences of this health crisis. Dialing 211 remains the go-to information resource in times of crisis to connect people with disaster, food, housing, utility, health care resources, and more. For more information, updated resources, and funded partner agencies, or to donate online, please visit our website, www.unitedwayirc.org. Stay safe and live united. We're back to Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn. I'm your host, Nivia Torres, Executive Director of the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative. And joining me today from Gifford here in Indian River County is Nikki Boswell. She is our early literacy specialist. And right before the break, Nikki was walking us through the learning kit. So Nikki, please walk us through all the wonderful activities that the families are receiving in this kit that you and also I should say your counterpart Maria Pantoja and Felsmere are distributing countywide. Yes, uh, my excitement came out. Um, that's that teacher mode. So, but first of all, I want to say everything that we're giving out is not something we're just giving just to be giving out. The Kindergarten Rennes Collaborative. We have had these posters for a long time. Um, it shows everything a child needs to know um, going into kindergarten. So everything that we're giving out is all in writing. So we're not just doing it just to be doing it. Um, again, the first thing is, it's giving them the steps of washing their hands. Um, it's just something that's bright, fun, catching a kid's eye, and it has six steps. But again, even though it has six steps, five steps, we want to use the advanced language. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. What are you going to do first? What are you going to do second? That's just helping with the language. We have tracing uppercase and lowercase letters. The front and back. You have some advanced kids. They know how to do it. And there's missing letters. So it's the lowercase a, okay, what comes next, the lowercase b. Again, reflect to this. We're looking at time consuming that the kids are able to sit while you're able to help another child that's in the household. We have shapes. We're talking about shapes. We cut out some just color fabrics to match it. That's a matching shape if you're talking about a smaller kids and as they get older here you go they can trace once they learn how to trace it let's get a square draw a square let's draw a triangle on top of the square what is that that's starting with the details pictures again what they need to know getting ready for kindergarten we put multiple books in there all kids has five books that's a book a day. You don't have to change it. If you don't like, you can stay with that book. But again, you know, you're going throughout the day. You know, your mind is thrown out. You can do a book, a different book a day. I like these. These are for the little kids. Um, these are balls. And this just, again, an example. You may have a child holding up the green ball. Can you get me the green ball? That's just reinforcing learning colors. This is a ball. It is round. So it's just different things that you could do with the kit. Just again, making it consuming. Hey, go find your green shoe. Let them run in the room. Go find that green shoe. Get them busy. Get them active. Moving around. Take them outside. Okay, what do we see? That's green. And so on for all the colors. So the kit is something really that me and my partner Maria really thought about as far as what can we get to the parents that's going to keep them active, keep them learning, and having fun all together. Nikki, I love all the activities that you and Maria developed for the kit. There's a lot of variety for the little ones. Um, we want to remind our viewers that this kit is really geared through uh, for children ages zero to five, and Nikki shared at the beginning that little poster card, everything that we do at KRC is focused on those developmental milestones, the building blocks, 
to make sure that the little ones are ready for kindergarten. I love Nikki, and if you can bring up again the how to wash, the hand washing, because I know that KRC has been working very closely on a hand washing campaign through song, and we wanna make sure that little ones are washing their hands all the time. This is a great opportunity to remind little ones and adults as well that it's important to wash their hands, but like you said, there's steps to that, and we want to use the correct language, first, second, third, and so forth. Nikki, how do families get this kit? If someone is watching now, how can they contact you, or if they're in Felsmere or in any other place in the county, how can they get more information? Um, if they're on the internet, they can go on Facebook, they re request to have a bag. But we as KRC specialists, we don't want to just give out the bag. We want to, again, communicate. We want to build a relationship. Um, we want to be able to walk you through it because this is only just the beginning of the kits that we're creating. And we want to build that relationship. Um, we may come across something that's difficult with um, an activity your child learning it. We want to be that role model. We want to be that go-to person to walk you through it. So again, we want you to get a kit, but we want you mostly to be a part of KRC. We want to walk with you, talk with you, cheer you on, you and your child on. So when it's time to go to kindergarten, you're ready and the child is ready. So again, go to Facebook. You can request. You can even go to the inbox of Kindergarten Readiness on Facebook, give your information. It depends on where you're located at. Either me or Maria, my partner in Felsmere, we will get in contact with you. But we do want you to know we're not just giving the kids to say here and send you on your way. We want to build that connection. We want to work together to bring out the success in your child as well as you being your child first teacher. Oh, Nikki, you, you said that so beautifully. Thank you so much. It's really a partnership. We just don't want to drop the kid off and say, here, you're on your way. But we wouldn't really want to build that relationship. And I know that you and Maria have been very careful about honoring and practicing social distancing. So you do communicate with the families. I know that you're talking to them on the phone. You're encouraging them. You're motivating them. But you're also respecting that social distancing and personal space. And you're dropping off learning kits at people's door. You're really going above and beyond to make sure that they have all the resources that they need. Is there, I know that you guys developed this kit sort of for April. Are there plans to have more learning kits, Nikki? Yes, we're already um, coming together, getting ideas. Um, at the end of May, we want to make sure the bags that we have already created go out. You're going to get another bag in the end of May. And again, we're going to follow the tubes of all the uh, building blocks that your child may need because we can't give out all areas at one time. So we want to give it, you know, pace it out so you and your family can grab hold to the things that we're giving to you and really utilize it. But this, again, this is only the beginning of something that's going to go continually on as far as just building your own classroom in your, in your home. Uh, we want you to hold these kids. We want you to utilize those kids. We want you to even to, hey, bring in someone else and you can be the role model for someone else. And beginning of August, we're going to really be really deep down into some things as far as we already kind of get our calendar ready. We're going to talk about the social. We're going to break everything up. Right now, it's like throwing it all, you know, a little bit, everything. But we're going to be breaking it down piece by piece. Right. Well, Nikki, I want to thank you for joining me. And for our viewers, I want to thank you for tuning in and for understanding that we are coming to you remotely. I want to thank Wayne, who's the genius behind all of this. He's behind the cameras. Hopefully, you'll tune in next week. We'll see you on Moonshot Radio. Thank you, Nikki, for joining me. And again, if you're interested in the learning kits, 
visit the KRC Facebook page. Until next time, this has been Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn.